in the mid 60s there was a great sense of uh, expectation that things in tamil nadu would really change i was a student here at that time when the dravidian movement was becoming very strong and was making uh, successful forays into the electoral field and breaking the monopoly of the congress so it seemed like something new was happening there was a lot of idealism there was a lot of um, talk about a cultural movement about movement for social equality and although women were not really the focus no were women's rights the focus but certainly when superstition was being attacked when uh, caste hierarchies were being attacked the space was being created for women also to emerge and for uh, for women's movements also uh, to take birth and go forward that seemed to be the whole atmosphere i was here at the time of the anti hindi agitation in fact participated in it also so there was a feeling that great changes were going to happen but what we always seem to forget is unless you also make basic changes in economic policy and unless you try to change the way in which wealth is distributed and the way production is controlled uh, actually what happens is that even parties of change become status quoist parties and that's what has happened in tamil nadu it's a great tragedy that all the very positive and progressive aspects of the dravidian movement have been completely um, uh, given the go by by the two main so called dravidian parties who are actually not dravidian parties anymore but they have managed to monopolize the entire political um, space and therefore you have cynicism among people which has also led to their being amenable to this terrible system of uh, bribing that goes on in the name of garnering of votes people do not object to it the people do not revolt against it as something that is basically challenging their democratic rights because they don't see much difference between the two uh, political parties that are asking for their votes and therefore i think this move that we are seeing at the time of this present election when a third front comprising of uh, very different kinds of parties it has got parties that are committed to the dalit cause It has got parties like the left parties, the CPIM and the CPI. So their coming together has certainly created a possibility of breaking the monopoly of these two parties, which are equally corrupt and follow exactly the same policies of uh, sell out to the corporate sector and uh, different kinds of uh, actually bribes of the electorate. there seems to be a chance where this monopoly can now be broken and something different can happen in politics in tamil nadu which will really make a change and will take people forward in a way that is different from what has been happening till now